Good morning, sir. Hi. Now, first of all, I'd like to ask, why did you decide to join this demonstration today? Oh, I just got back. I keep saying this a uh, hundred times. I just got back from uh, Ivory Coast, the World Cup, uh, sorry, the African Cup. And, um, you know, watched the tournament, got involved. I was with Team Ghana. They were eliminated and spent time with uh, Nigeria. In fact, I was with Nigeria almost throughout. And it's a stark contrast to, you know, the reception the Nigerians received back home, even though they lost. And we witnessed the um, parade for Ivory Coast. And what football is doing in Ivory Coast is completely different to what football is doing in Ghana. So for me, um, I don't think I'll be doing myself, my audience, my, you know, the football public any good by sitting at home or, you know, uh, behind my console, you know, on TV just to talk. So I need to get here and, and you know, gauge the emotions, the feelings and know exactly how to also carry that message, you know. We're all football people, yourself, everybody here walking with me. Those, so we shouldn't make it look like um, it is them against us. It is bad journalists against good GFA. No, no, no. The moment we do that, then we have a bigger problem. So it's important that all of us get involved. And I saw a lady there. She must be in her 70s with a placard. And a few men, old men, also look like you know they're in their 70s or even 80s. And if they are coming out to speak for the masses, then we need to also understand and respect that. So I'm here to show solidarity with my colleague journalists. And also, as a football person, uh, beach soccer is part of the GFA, so I can't divorce myself from GFA, even though I don't take direct decisions about the Black Stars. I still see myself as a football person. So I need to get here, engage, you know, meet people, feel their anger. A lot of guys saw me and they started to vent, complaining. I think it's good. We need to do that and we need to be tolerant and listen to all views. And then when things calm down, we move forward, sit around the table and try to work a solution. Right. Yeah. So I know Sadiq, Mr. Sadiq Aramis is uh, presenting a 10-piece uh, plan to Parliament and the GFA as a guideline. Um, are we looking at also encouraging the fans to also cool their temper? Because I went to the grounds it's very hot in there. You could feel the anger and rage in every single person. Do you think that we, the citizens, also have a part to play in all this? So what we're seeing on the ground represents Ghana. We shouldn't, um, we shouldn't make the mistake to say or to think this, these are minorities demonstrating or these are people who have nothing to do. I've met a couple of uh, people from different you know, professional backgrounds. So we need to respect everybody and also listen to their views. What will happen if you don't allow that and listen is that we could have another Anas where people would plot, plan, and we don't want a situation where someone like Keto Kriku is made, is another victim of, I'm using the word victim because at the end of the day, we need to also recognize that Kusinya Antichi did a lot for Ghana football, made some mistakes, but could we have gone another way to ensure that whatever happens, we continue and build on what Nyantechi did. Whatever happens, Ketokreku has done something positive. We should continue and build on that. But what's happening now is that people have, are disillusioned. They've lost faith. They've lost hope. And the perception is that football is corrupt. As a football person, I am not corrupt. So I need to come out and say that, no, if the ecosystem is made up of different parties and different people. It's not everybody in, if football is corrupt, then we need to uproot everything and start from afresh. But it's not everybody in football that is corrupt. But that perception persists because of maybe the posturing, the body language, the, the negative reports, the evidence of things that really shouldn't be happening in our football um, industry. So we need to listen to all stakeholders and try to find a way forward. But if we sit back on radio, on TV, and talk, you know, the talk shop, I, that has been done. This is the next step. And I think here the FA would realize that no, people really are not happy. Let's do something about it. So I'm here to show solidarity uh, with my media, you know, Obama and the rest of them, as well as the supporters, as well as those who are coming from corporate Ghana. I met a couple of people from corporate Ghana. They are stakeholders. They are the sponsors. If they think football 
is not, um, what's the word to use? You know, if they feel that football is not something attractive for them to put their money in, we're all in trouble. Football is what has made a lot of us who we are. So we need to also come out and voice our displeasure. Thank you so much for your time.